Hi, and now we are going to learn the third and the final property of conditional probability. And this is the probability of event E not happening when F has already happened is equal to 1 minus the probability of event E happening where F has already happened, right? So as we know, S is a solution space. S is actually equal to E union E dash. E is the set of all the favorable outcomes of event E happening and E dash is the set of all the possible outcomes where the event E is not happening. E dash is the complementary set of E. So E union E dash will actually make the sample set or the sample space, right? So S is equal to E union E dash and we know the probability of S happening where F has already happened is actually equal to 1, right? So the probability of E union E dash where F has already happened will also be equal to 1, right? And we know E and E dash are disjoint sets. That means probability of E union E dash where F has already happened will actually be equal to probability of E where F has already happened plus the probability of E dash where F has already happened. This we have learned in the second property of conditional probability and this will be equal to 1, right? So from here we can see that probability of E dash where F has already happened is actually equal to 1 minus the probability of E where F has already happened, right? So this is the proof for the third property and it is very easy to remember all these properties if you know the set theory properly. So if you have any doubts in set theory, please go through the videos which I have made on set theory and keep watching MathSmart for the upcoming new videos on probability and many more topics. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.